It's an honour to be publishing this report in the 70th anniversary year of the NHS, which is why I've chosen to make this film alongside the portrait of Anaren Bevan, whose inspiration and ambition it was that by providing access to healthcare for all, we would improve population health. So in this report, I want to highlight the things that have happened across Gwent that are good examples of local action that can improve health, that, so that we can all act together to improve health for future generations and for the next 70 years of the NHS, when we realise that original ambition, equal health for all. My name is Dr Heather Duncan. I'm the head here at Lewis Girls School. I am a part of a, a council that has a smoke-free policy and as a school we have adopted that because it is important that we live and work both as staff and pupils in a smoke-free environment. So it is a commitment that we make clear that any of the grounds or any of the, the, the environment of the school is smoke-free because it's not just um, the right thing to do, but because it is something that the council and us have agreed is the best thing for their own health and well-being. So my name is Amelia Evans, I'm in year eight, I'm a pupil at Lewis Girls Comprehensive School and I'm a Just Be Smoke Free Ambassador. So my job is to talk to pupils in different years about, about smoking, so we talk about cigarettes and e-cigarettes, why not to smoke and what to do if you feel pressured to smoke and just to basically give them help if they feel like they are being pressured to smoke. So we had the funding and we contacted the head of Cum Primary School and asked her would she be interested in starting a walking group with children and parents, um, also grandparents or any other family members that wanted to be involved. My name is Alison Pope and I am Deputy Head Teacher at Cum Primary School. This activity you have parents and children walking alongside each other, they're talking about their school day, they're having fun walking around with their parents and learning alongside that that exercise is important for your well-being and for your future um, long-term health. If we can instill good practice now then hopefully that will follow through. Kids nowadays I find they tend to sit in front of the screen all day if you let them but just to get them out and see them running about happily playing and you can, you can just see them grow and get stronger and more confident as they interact with more people as well. They then just about the walk and it's about the interacting with people as well. I'm Alfie and I go to complain When I go walking it makes me really happy. Well, it is fun to go walking and you walk for quite a while, you do. Um, I found the walking gr group really good because I come along with my six-year-old and also my mum normally attends on a Monday. So we just get a chance to walk together, get out in the fresh air, get to spend time with his friend, Joseph's friends, and also my mum has nans that come along. So she talks to the nans that come along and I get to know the mums because normally I'm in work so I don't get to spend much time with them. My name's PC Andrew Lewis and I'm the licensing officer for the East Side of Gwent. Um, the East Side of Gwent encompasses both Newport uh, City and Monmouthshire County Council. And we work with other partners. There's a number of responsible authorities who also receive these applications environmental health, trading standards, fire service, immigration and the health board is the newest responsible authority that's come on board. Um, every three to four months we receive data from A&E. Um, this data shows repeat locations, um, repeat premises where persons are injured as a result of alcohol. Um, that data alongside the police data then when it's submitted to the councils strengthens any applications which are made to keep these community of impact areas in force uh, which then gives us and other responsible authorities uh, greater strength to refuse new applications which are made for premises to be put into these areas. The screening tests in NHS are very good. I should we should go for it for our own safety. I think it's one of the best system and it's very good. We should all do it because of the safety of our, of our own health. I think it's good, fantastic. The bowel screening test is brilliant. It's easy, it's simple, 
you do it privately, you, it, the results come back in two days, three days. The simple fact that it's an, an easy test to do, very quick, very simple, and absolutely no need to leave the house to do it. Uh, it couldn't be more convenient, no indignity of other people having to, to fuss around you, so you know, just very easy to do. It's, it's a straightforward process, isn't it? You know, yeah. Come through the door, you haven't got to ring up for it or anything, No. job done. And, it uh, takes seconds yeah. during the course of a day. Yeah. And then, uh, how often do you get reassurance for nothing? And all you've got to do is, when you're finished, well, you pop it in the post. It, it couldn't it, be any easier. Couldn't be easier. I just don't understand yeah. people not yeah. wanting to do it. We, we recommend it to everyone. everyone. It's so easy. I've got two children, one boy aged 12, one girl aged 15, and they're both in comprehensive school in Newport. Um, they are fully vaccinated based on the NHS vaccination programme, which has been great. Um, it's amazing that we've got such a strong free service that's easily available and you're encouraged. You're not forced, you're encouraged and all the information is available for you to make a proper decision. With regards to MMR in particular, um, because it was part of the, the regular programme, we, we didn't think very much of it. Um, you, you know, we got them vaccinated and for us it was just part of the routine. So thank you NHS for protecting my family. It really is a privilege to be here this morning celebrating the 70th anniversary of the NHS. I, I genuinely am very proud to work for an organisation called the Norwich Leaven University Health Board. By the end of the morning, we'd like everybody to think about the one thing that you're each going to do, because if we all do one thing, collectively, we will make it happen. And so, as part of focusing on what can we do locally, I'm introducing some pledge cards, and we're going to have these for a range of uh, lifestyle factors, but today it's about physical activity. And so we would like you all to just think about the one thing you're going to do, where you're going to do it, and when.